And here we start with the lineups. Let's look at the Naprima College lineup first. Of course, uh, Tyrese Romain in goal for Naps. There's Hills, Pascal, Cooper, Bailey, Francis, Vesprey, Calice. Panto, Alexander, Raymond, and the skipper is in fact the goalkeeper, Romain, and Travis Mulrain, the coach. Let's have a talk, uh, Brent, the formation. Yeah, um, there's a 4-3-3. Three, three. Yeah. Um, they have national team, youth national team experience in there with, with Cooper and of course Pascal. Um, the little brother of Andre Raymond is playing for them as well. He played last night in Trinidad and Tobago's um, Caribbean uh, Cup game. Let's have a look at the Prez lineups. Lazarus in goal. There's Pemberton, Young, Clement, Jones, George, Rafwit, Elliot, Barclay, Felix, and Cody Cooper, who is the son of the coach Sean Cooper. The formation, Brett. Yeah, well, they line up in a 4 2 3 1. Of course, Lazarus, a key uh, goalkeeper for uh, Presentation College. Clement up front playing the lone striker. Expect him to be full of running to make sure he occupy. And it meant that the, the game has ended in a stalemate here at Lois Street in San Fernando. There is the, the crowd making their way out. But let's have a look at the highlights here as uh, the corner came in and cleared away. The long throw from, from Calice eventually cleared up field. Here comes Naparima again. This was Panto. Hurried the shot here. He had his time. Could have taken his time to bury that one. He hustled, hustled the shot and uh, it went in, uh, went wide. But this time, the corner from Naparima. Lazarus takes that one nicely. That's a good take. Really a good take. And the shot from Barclay, that's a good shot. It skidded across the the outfield, the turf, and uh, the keeper had to get down quickly. Then the corner from Naprima, the header from Cooper, you had to think he should have at least hit the target. He jumped early, headed it wide, and then the shot from Francis never really got hold of it. Was always leaning back and went over the bar. And this time, Lazarus coming out quickly as France was coming in. Ball chipped. Cooper with the header and Lazarus started to come forward and it nearly sneaked in and then the final minute here the ball slipped out of the hand of the keeper and the header came from Cooper right at the end couldn't score so here are the final stats 10 shots from Naps, 5 from presentation 4 shots to 2 in favor of Naparima shots on target that is 5 fouls each Yellow cards, two for presentation, none for Naprima, no red cards. Offsides, one each for both teams. Ten corners for Naps, nine to presentation. Two saves from the Naprima keeper, four saves from the press keeper. And possession, 55%, uh, Naprima, 45%. But the more important stat is right at the top there in green. Naprima nil, presentation nil. Let's go downstairs to Hans. He's got the man of the match with him. Nil nil, the final score. Josiah Cooper, our man of the match today. Congratulations to you. You had a great performance today despite the results. What do you attribute today's great performance to? Well, two big teams came together here today. Um, big, big, big game, you know. We push, we push, we push. And we try to fight it out to the very last whistle. Well, from this draw, what does it mean for the team, for the rest of the SSL, SSFL Premiership Division? What kind of fight are you all going to put on and what can we expect? I mean, we hope the results go off key for the other teams. I mean, we'll keep pushing until, you know, anything happens so that we could top the league. All right, thank you very much, Josiah Cooper, our man of the match. Congratulations to you from one Cooper to the next. Brent Sancho has the coach of Presentation College with him right now. Coach, 90 minutes plus of football, 0-0 zero, zero at the end of the day. Your assessment of the game? Well, I think, you know, after we, we, we spilled the penalty, I think was even Steven. Even Steven. Well, of course, the game meant a lot for both teams and school historically, but a points perspective with five games left in the season, 
Do you think it's still possible for Presentation College? No, I don't think so. Um, it's it's a it's a easy street going forward with with Fatima and, and Sawa. I don't think they have any games um, in hand to, to trouble them. So it's their league to lose. Um, this game was a derby, so we expected a very close one. Thank you very much, Coach, and all the best to you for Thank the rest you of the much. season. Thank you. Coach Moraine, of course, 0-0 uh, at the end of the day, you had one or two chances. A missed penalty from Presentation yeah. College. Your assessment of the game so far? Well, besides the missed penalty, I think it was a very even game. A lot of ebbs and flows. I think it was an epic battle befitting a Prez, Naps, Derby. Uh, we have to look forward. We can't do anything about this game. And just hope to win the rest of our games and hope results go our way elsewhere. Well, it's two back-to-back -back games without scoring any goals. Uh, is that a concern for you moving forward? Well, it is a concern because we were scoring goals and conceding. We worked a bit defensively. Now we're getting the clean sheets, but we're not converting up front. So we just have to keep working on the training field. Thank you very much, Coach, and all Thank the best you. to you. Yeah. Still a celebratory mode here.